Hey, this is Brian from quantlabs.net. Uh, one of the more important questions people have been asking me is who's the data provider I use for uh, data feeds and who's my trading broker. Well, I don't use either uh, at this point. Uh, it's still early, in, early days for me. Um, but during my research, currently I use Yahoo Finance, which is free. 15-minute delay, not the best, but it's good for research. Um, there are some tricks I've learned over the last little bit. Uh, you can get actually tick data from Yahoo Finance. If you go to this URL, uh, this one right here, you can pause it and just get that uh, URL if you need. Um, and I'll show you uh, how to get uh, a tick set of deck, deck tick data on any symbol that uh, Yahoo tracks. Um, so, for instance, this one will give you about a thousand points, um, data points, and that's in a CSV format as well. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Um, and then also, if you need to understand the details of what to, to request from Yahoo, there's a website you can use which gives you the full description, keeps it up to date actually as well. It's this URL here, um, and it'll give you what to send URL and to get what kind of responses you get from Yahoo servers. Um, so that's an important resource as well. Now, um, there are some other important aspects going outside of Yahoo. Um, what I'm finding is uh, any quant will tell you from the ones that I've talked to, uh, data feeds are important. Uh, a lot of brokers, a lot of data providers basically aggregate different uh, ticks in, a, in, a, in a trading blocks and it can really mess up and, and basically mess up your uh, tracking of any uh, data set that you're trying to get to test on, to optimize off of, to decide if you want to trade or not. So um, there's there's very few that are actually quite good. Um, you know, I've I've done tons of research in this, be it for forex, for equity, for option, whatever. Um, obviously, right now I'm venturing into forex. There's so many good, well, and questionable. Uh, providers out there. I mean, there's Interactive Brokers, there's uh, Oanda, there's uh, other ones. Um, and then you get into the high-end ones like uh, Bloomberg, uh, Morningside, uh, Thomson Reuters. Uh, the last three, Bloomberg, Reuters, and uh, Morningside are the ones that obviously institutional traders use. They run at maybe $1,000 a month, all the way up to $5,000 a month, maybe with a Bloomberg terminal or not. From what one quant told me, your best quality data is going to be Morningside. That's the preferred provider to use. Again, Morningside. Or, sorry, Morningstar. I always get those two confused. I live near a Morningstar, Morningside road. Um, anyhow, um, that's at the very high end. Now, if you're going into Forex, I've just recently researched uh, FXCM, uh, Trading Point, uh, Oanda. Um, and a whole slew of others. Light speed. Um, each one has its advantages, but they're expensive. If you want to use them as a broker, you got to cough up a ton of dough. Uh, Light speed wanted twenty-seven thousand um, dollars. Interactive brokers wanted ten thousand dollars. They will still get you also data uh, feeds as well, but just depends who you go with. Oanda, very little you can cough up to, min to as a minimum deposit. But for Oanda, if you want to connect through an API for their data feed through a gateway, it's 600 bucks a month. I mean, it's crazy what people are wanting, but that's what they, uh, that's what the industry is wanting. Um, so who do you go with? Um, I'm still researching that. The ones that are only worthwhile at this point um, that I'm looking at is Interactive Brokers. Um, $10,000 minimum deposit. Uh, highly reputable, um, seems the service is good, has everything you want. Um, there's, there's no secrets there, but all the other ones seem to be kind of Mickey Mouse. Um, and if you need good referrals or review sites, uh, there's uh, Elite Traders, a good place to look. Um, let me just show you one of them. Uh, here we go on a Yahoo, or sorry, Google, and you just go Elite Trader. Uh, I don't know, Oanda, and I'll give you the review of Oanda. This is really helpful. It gives you a review, 69%, and it gives you a bunch of comments from different users. So I'm currently using this as a resource to find my 
uh, rate Forex trader. As I said, the one that looks good for me right now is Interactive Brokers. I don't work for them. I'm not here to advertise them, but that's what's like the big, big guys like Ernie Chan use. I've talked to him about it and so on and so forth. So um, hopefully that will give you some insight of what to do on the data provider side and what broker to use, especially if you're going with Forex.